Otter hounds are large dogs that belong to the scent hound family. From performing foolish tricks to imitating their owners, these clownish dogs have a great sense of humor and that's why they have made a reputation for being excellent family companions. But these guys didn't just start off as domestic pets. Did you know that the breed was developed to hunt and extinguish otters? That's right. Otter hunting largely enjoyed by the nobility was the first organized sport in England that used packs of scent hounds. The otter hound was used along with small terriers to hunt otters along the banks of ponds and rivers. Terriers used to flush the otters from their den, and when the otters ran to the water, the otter hound would take over. This is also why these dogs possess a great talent for swimming. They have been known to swim and wade as far as 20 miles in a day. Now that they are loved as family pets, you'd think that these hounds are famous all around the world, right? Well, not quite much. This is an uncommon breed with fewer than 10 litters born each year in the United States and Canada. Their population seems to be dwindling and they are soon to become one of the rarest pieces of dogs found in the world. Not many people know about these joyous and friendly canines, so here are the top 10 facts about the Yarrow Hound, the breed full of talents. But before we get to the facts, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Otter Hound owners in this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these rare dogs from their Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History While it's pretty obvious that Otter Hounds descended from Bloodhounds, some people think that they are also related to French Griffins because of their unique folded ears. Large and rough-coated otter hounds were originally bred for the now outlawed activity of hunting otters in England. The nobles of England enjoyed otter hunting and therefore it was the first organized sport in England that used a pack of scent hounds. During the reign of Henry II, the traces of the first otter hounds were found and since then they were used along with small terriers to hunt otters along the banks of ponds and rivers. Even King John of England and Elizabeth I used these dogs to hunt otters in the 12th century. Otters at those times were notorious for decimating fish in English rivers and wiping away the whole stock of fish overnight. Slowly, Catholic churches and monasteries started keeping these pooches to keep otters away from their fish stocks. Otter hounds started being popular for their excellent hunting ability and their dedication to their job. These dogs appear to have been brought to the United States in 1900. Shortly after, they were recognized by the AKC in 1909, followed by the establishment of the Otter Hound Club of America in 1960. Number 2. They are great swimmers with rough water repellent coats and webbed feet, otter hounds are incredible swimmers. It's hard to believe that these dogs can also swim underwater, emerging only occasionally for air. But what if they get all wet and heavy? Don't worry, their oily coat works great as a water repellent while swimming. And just like ducks, these dogs have webbed feet to paddle and swim. Pretty convenient, right? Number 3. They have a keen sense of smell. Otter hounds have well-developed nostrils and scenting power that make them fit for their original function of hunting otters. Their nose is so sensitive that they can follow not only the scent of the otter in water, but also their drag on land. These dogs have been known to stay on a full 12 hours trail in a day. Otter hounds can trust their nose more than anything and that's why they are found competing wonderfully in various track and field events. To let your otter hound's nose do its job, you can take your pup to participate in scent related dog sports such as tracking and scent work. Having said that, make sure that you keep this dog on a leash or when outside. Their innate desire to track any interesting odor may overrule their desire to listen to your commands. Number 4. They are fun-loving dogs Otter hounds are dorky and very energetic dogs, so when they are having fun and goofing around, sometimes they won't even listen to their owners. They are amiable dogs that require plenty of affection from every member of the family. Of course, they love playing with children, but you must stick around while they're playing as otter hounds can play a little rough due to their large size. They run around your yard, talk with neighbors, and make a lot of friends during their free time. Therefore, you can say that these dogs are very sociable and lively. Otter hounds will greet you every time you see them, but expecting them to follow you is a whole new thing. They are too independent for that. Number 5. They love singing Otter hounds are very vocal dogs known for their deep bay, which can be carried effortlessly over long distances. At one time, listening to the music made by a pack of hunting otter hounds was part of the joy of the hunt. While the bay has its charms, you and your neighbors might not approve and allow them to do it all the time. Most otter hounds also enjoy to mutter, groan, grunt, and sigh. They rarely stay quiet and are always willing to start a conversation with you or anyone who is willing to listen. So if you are an introvert and don't open up much, you are certainly going to bore these dogs. Although they are enthusiastic and loud howlers, don't expect otter hounds to be a fit guard dog because they are too friendly for that. Number 6. Early socialization is a must As pack animals, otter hounds are good with other dogs and pets if they are raised with them or introduced carefully. They benefit a lot from socialization, especially as puppies, and enjoy being included in all aspects of your life. These dogs are stubborn and vocal too. However, with the help of early socialization, they can learn to listen and even be quiet on command. And because of their large size, training is absolutely necessary. 
Their bouncy nature can cause problems with small children and home appliances when left unattended. Early socialization and regular exercise will surely help to control their enthusiasm and bouncy nature. While training your otter hound may require a lot of patience and positive attitude, your efforts will certainly be worth it. Number 7. They need a fenced yard Otter hounds enjoy food and this can be a great motivator in training. But be aware that their love of food can also lead them astray. There are stories of otter hounds who leaped from their confinement and got into the kitchen. If you have any open cabinets, drawers, and even the refrigerator, then you might be in a big trouble. However, otter hounds are smart dogs, so with some training, you can teach your dog not to surf in the kitchen counter, drawers, fridges, and the like. But more importantly, without a fenced yard, your otter hound could end up wandering away from your yard, following any scent they find attractive. So a properly fenced yard with a fence up to 6 feet tall is required to prevent your dog from going astray. Number 8. Their Exercise and Training Needs Otter hounds are content with moderate exercises such as a brisk walk, a short run, or playing with their toys. However, if you give these dogs the choice between a day's hunting or a day on the sofa, they might just choose the latter. And while they do enjoy sniffing around, they'd far prefer a walk in the woods rather than a jog. These guys are happy to go as far or as short as their humans want, but will happily get back to the sofa afterwards. Swimming is a great exercise and so it is very well suited for every otter hound. Other than tracking and scent work, these hard-working hounds compete in confirmation, obedience, rally, and even agility. We guarantee that with proper training, your otter hound will excel and get titles in tracking and other competitive events. Number 9. Otter Hound is one of the rarest breeds Otter hounds have picked up many notable and noble admirers including Edward II, Henry VI, Richard III, Henry VII, King John, Charles II, Edward IV, Henry II, Henry IV, and even Queen Elizabeth I. It's said that the breed was fancied by more kings than any other breed. Today, the Otter Hound is one of the rarest dog breeds. In fact, rarer than the White Rhino or the Giant Panda. With the banning of the otter hunting in 1978, the dispersal and destruction of some packs of the breed threatened the future of the otter hound. However, a small nucleus of breed enthusiasts has kept the breed going often with the use of pack hounds. It is estimated that there are only 800,000 otter hounds worldwide. In the year 2021, the United States had 9 successful litters producing 68 puppies, 36 females, and 32 males in total. Over the last 10 years, the annual average number of otter hound puppies born in the US is around 50 pups. Number 10. Their Health Otter hounds are generally a sturdy breed, but as with any other dogs, they too are prone to some health conditions. Glansman thrombasthenia is an inherited bleeding disorder affecting otter hounds. Affected dogs have abnormal platelet activity. Platelets are blood cells that are necessary for the normal clotting of blood. Affected dogs often present before one year of age with bleeding gums as their permanent teeth are erupting. They may also have frequent bloody noses, blood in the urine or stool, bruising of the skin and prolonged bleeding after surgery or trauma. But you don't need to worry. There are currently no known affected dogs and all carriers of the gene are identified and carefully tracked by breeders who produce them. All American hounds are tested prior to breeding. Breeders take blood samples from all prospective parents and have it sent to a lab to find out whether or not they carry the recessive gene causing this disease to make sure only healthy puppies are produced. Other than this, otter hounds are prone to gastric dilation volvulus, also known as bloat, which is a life-threatening condition that targets dogs with large and deep chests. Hip dysplasia is also common, but if you get your pup from a responsible breeder and learn about the health history of the pup's parents, there's nothing much to worry about. This definitely does not mean that your otter hounds are immune to other diseases, but you must make regular visits to the vet and take great care to make yours healthy and happy. Alright folks, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the otter hounds. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these rare fluffy dogs, let us know about their unique traits in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more interesting facts on different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.